Hi everyone, it's Father Paolo here. Welcome to my office at the parish. As you can see, it's a bit small, and uh, truth be told, I don't spend much time here, especially because we're not meeting with people in person. Um, and, and if we do need to meet with them, we always meet in a much bigger room downstairs. So uh, today I wanna give you guys a, an overview of some of the great work that other Catholic organizations are doing to care for creation. We've uh, explored a little bit of Laudato Si as a parish. We've uh, discussed some, um, how we can grow in our um, spirituality and concern for the environment. But today I wanna to show you some of the great work that's going on out there with other Catholic organizations so you can continue to learn and grow and uh, together we can discern as a parish what it is we're called to do next to care for the earth. So with that, the first uh, series of sites that I wanna show you are based on um, education. So learning about uh, what's going on with our world and learning about what the Catholic Church is doing. So there's two resources. The first is Vatican News. And um, truth be told, I, I check this website fairly often, not only for um, learning about creation, but also just to see what's going on with the Pope. And quite often I'll go and search his past homilies if I'm looking for ideas on what to preach. But as you can see, uh, for the season of creation, they have this special banner up here. And they have a series of stories uh, around the world that are um, highlighting the work that different churches and, and different dioceses are, are working on to care for creation. Um, so for example, here's a story that uh, shows what's going on in Bangladesh. And you can see that uh, the stories have these tags, so Season of Creation and Laudato Si. If you click the Laudato Si tag, it, it keeps track of any story in the Universal Church that uh, is in some way related to Laudato Si. So you can see here's this uh, story about what's going on with the Ecumenical Patriarch, um, and then also other stories. Um, the Season of Creation is not new. You know, this goes Laudato Si. These stories go back to 2019 and even beyond. So that's the first resource. Uh, the Vatican News website shows a lot of what the church is doing around the world. The second one is a series called Earthbeat by the National Catholic Reporter. And for the season of creation, they have uh, an award-winning photographer, Paul Jeffrey, uh, sharing different photos and talking about different environmental issues from water to um, surface use, uh, different plants. So it's a wonderful resource to, uh, to educate yourself on what's going on out there. There's also two other uh, Catholic organizations that are working on um, various direct forms of relief. Catholic Relief Services is the overseas charitable arm of the Catholic Church. You will know within the Catholic Church, each diocese has a chapter of Catholic Charities to meet the, the needs at home. And then Catholic Relief Services is the unified effort of um, all the dioceses across the U.S. to meet the needs of people around the world. Uh, one of the big programs of Catholic Relief Services is um, not simply just providing food and disaster relief, which is very important during times of drought, but also providing expertise and long-term um, uh, self-sufficiency. So they have experts with master's degrees that know all about farming or know all about um, small businesses, and, and they're able to provide the seeds and provide the know-how and provide the resources to help people in other communities thrive. A big part of overseas relief right now is looking at how the climate is changing, what that means for rainfall cycles, what that means for crops, what that means for pests. So they have uh, this website, crs.org, I'll put the link up, uh, slash climate change. So they have this website here, crs.org, um, and then if you go to this special page on climate change, it has a wonderful series of stories that show how uh, the climate change is affecting the poor and the vulnerable and also uh, what are some of the good things that CRS is doing um, to help people cope with climate change, to prepare people for a future where uh, there's per perhaps less water in their areas like in Bolivia or maybe rising temperatures um, and other, other such uh, factors. So Catholic Relief Services has a wonderful um, series of resources on climate change. The other one is a more local program. Um, this is called the Catholic Climate Covenant. It was actually founded way before Laudato Si came out in 2006, so that was under the papacy of Pope Benedict. It's uh, uh, affiliated with the Bishop's Conference, so they have uh, support from the Bishop's Conference and other Catholic organizations, religious orders, dioceses, schools or across the U.S. 
Uh, they have a threefold mission. Part of that is education, like, like what we've been doing. They publish a great series of programs. Um, they also have wonderful webinars for people that want to learn more. Another part of what they do is advocacy. So they um, try to advocate Congress and, um, and lawmakers in order to pass uh, policies that are more um, favorable to protecting the earth and protecting the poor. And finally, one of the most interesting projects they've rec recently started is called Catholic Energies. And that is to help parishes become more efficient and also uh, install solar if it makes sense. Um, they've been really successful in places like uh, Virginia, uh, Washington, D.C. Truth be told, Texas doesn't quite have the same um, financial structure and, um, and subsidies that, that other regions of the countries do, so this might not make sense for what we're doing here in Austin. But um, as you can see, they're starting small and growing with, uh, with helping parishes install solar power and also just become more efficient in caring for their, for their plants. There's also uh, good work being done by different religious communities. So one is the Franciscans. Um, as you know, there's many different um, orders of, of Franciscans, and they have a, a group called the Franciscan Action Network, and um, a good part of what they do is education and also advocacy, again, to help uh, protect the earth. So they have a great series of uh, webinars on La Dao Si if you'd like to learn more about that, and you can check out the Franciscan Action Network page for more information. And finally, there's the Ignatian Solidarity Network. So that's the network of people who um, work in Jesuit institutions, schools, parishes, universities, also people who've been educated by the Jesuits, and a lot of their um, other nonprofit initiatives that they have. The Ignatian Solidarity Network gets together every year in Washington, D.C., and they also uh, go door-to-door -door lobbying our congressional representatives. So they're um, experts in training people how to lobby um, and advocate for uh, better laws and more just laws. But the other thing too is uh, since the Jesuits have a massive institutional footprint, the Jesuits have so many schools and different programs, um, this website here is a great resource of, of all the different things that are going on. So here you can see links to the sustainability programs at all the different Jesuit universities. Like I'll just click on Georgetown here to give you an example. Um, so once you start browsing these web pages, you can easily get lost in, in endless links, but it's very inspiring to see how, uh, how vast the Catholic Church is and also how vast the different, um, the different programs that are going on as far as environmental protection. So often we think that the Catholic Church is just uh, the Diocese of Austin or our local parish here at St. Austin's. And there's really tons of great things that are going on all around the world, um, but especially here in, in the United States with regards to care for the earth and care for the environment. So I'm going to put these links up on our website, staustin.org slash creation, and hopefully there you will uh, find all these resources and continue to educate yourself, and we can continue our dialogue on to what it is we we're called to do here at St. Austin's to help care for God's wonderful uh, creation. With that, God bless, and I look forward to our ongoing discussions and uh, living out the graces of this season of creation into the future.